Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to customize WooCommerce login page. So let's just begin. Alright, so to customize the login page on the WooCommerce, the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugin and click on add new plugin. And here we have to search for essential add-ons for Elementor. So I have already installed and activated this. So after that, what you need to do, you have to go inside the essential add-ons and you have to go inside the elements. And here, if you scroll down, you will be able to see the option of login and register from here so we have to enable this from here and then we have to click on save here okay so if you also want the user to register then you can go inside the settings and click on journal settings and you will be able to see the option of membership so you have to enable this and then you have to save the settings here all right so now what we need to do we have to go inside the pages and click on add new page since we'll be creating a new page for our login all right so i'll just simply write down login here and I'm going to also put here customize right now just to differentiate. Okay, so after that, what we need to do, we have to click on edit with Elementor. All right, so as you can see this, we are inside the Elementor editor. So here we have to search for login and you can see login and register form by EA, which simply means essential add on. So let's click on it and the login form will be added on our page. Okay, so now you can see these options. All right, so now let's just explore the setting of our login form. Okay, so the first thing is that right now we have selected the default form tab, which is login. And you can also select the registration page if you want to. But right now I'm going to go here with the login. All right, so as you can see the second option here that we can hide all the forms from the logged in users. Okay, and after that, if you want to redirect the logged in user, you can simply enable this and you will have to provide the URL here if you want to add any customized URL. Okay, so right now I'm going to go here on the next page and click here. Let's just click on the store here and you'll be able to see the option of my account. So we're going to click on it. Okay, so this is the account page that you will be able to see whenever you are logged in. So let's just copy this and we have to put the URL here. All right. So after that, you can see the option of login form general. And we also have the register form and we also have the lost password form general. All right, so right now I'm going to disable this. Okay. And after that, we have the form header content. So in the form header content, if you want to add the image, you can simply do it. So I'm going to add the image here. So let's click on it. And I'm going to pick this one right now. So let's just select this and you will be able to see the image here. And you can also change the position of the image. Okay. So if you want to put this on the right side, you're going to simply click here and the image will be on the right side but i think it is looking better on the left side okay so after that we have this on the lost password form so i'm going to disable this and if you want to add the form header logo as well you can simply do it from here okay so i'm going to also disable this after that we have the form title okay so if you want to add the login form title you can simply do it so let's just write down uh, all right so we have this title welcome to our website and if you want to add the subtitle you can also do this from here and in the similar way if you want to add the title and the subtitle on the register form you can also do this okay and we also have the similar kind of options for the lost password form okay and if you want to set the title for reset password form you can also do it okay so after this we have the login form fields so let's click on it so right now in the labels and the placeholders we have the default values but if you want to change it you can simply click here and you can simply click on the custom and from here, you can change the label and the placeholder of the email and the password. Okay, but right now I'm going to go here with the default values. And after that, if you want to change the input field width, you can simply do it. So if I change the values here, you will be able to see the difference in the width of input field. So right now I'm going to go again to the default value, which is 100%. And after that, we have password visibility icon. So if you want to see the password, you can simply enable this. But if I don't want to see the password, I will simply disable this. And in the last, you can see we have the button text on the login button. So you can simply change the value here as well. Okay, so after that, we have the login form options. So let's click on it. Okay, so in the login form options, we only have a single option to redirect after login. Okay, so right now I don't want to do any redirection. So if I wanted to redirect after login, I can enable this and I would need to put the value here. Okay, so I would actually go again here, copy this and paste the value here. All right, so after that we have the social login. So this is basically for the pro version. And after that we have the options that is related to the register form. So we have the register form field, we have the register form option, 
and you can also see the other options here as well and in the last you can see the option of terms and conditions so if you want to enable this you can simply do it and we also have the validation messages so if i just click on it you can see that we have the different messages for the different kind of errors or the different kind of the validations okay so this is how it works right now let's just publish this now let's click on have a look all right so since we are already logged in that is why you can't see anything here so we're gonna simply copy this url and we're gonna open up another browser now if i just paste the value now you can see our login form here so this is how we can create customized login form in woocommerce so let me just log in here with my account click on login and you will be logged in into your woocommerce account all right so this is how it works and if you want to see the registration form as well so for that first of all i need to log out right now okay and i'm going to go to the new page paste the url and now you can see we have the login pin again so for the registration form you're going to simply click on register now and you will be able to see your registration form here okay so this is how it works and this is how we can create customized login page in the woocommerce so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel